my name is Jonathan McBad Lighting, and I'm here to show you more make files as I crunch on chips. All right, this is part two. What we have here is we have a new concept that deviates from all the world and is called. Do you have a guess? Do you have a guess what are these called? This will help you remember. If you can guess, then you're good. They're called macros. You'd make them equal to something, and anytime you call the macro, it does whatever's on the right side. And you can chain them like so, like so. This runs whatever that is. So this is a make file I made. I call it the best make file for CPP. I don't know if it's the best. It probably it's my favorite one. But it's cool because it does everything for you. You just got to use it. Let allow me to explain how it does everything for you. So uh, say you're running a C++ thing. All right, just hypothetical, and you got a folder where you want your stuff to reside, all your stuff. You put this make file in there. You make a source directory, you put all your your uh, source files in there, .cpp files, headers, whatever you want. This looks at every CPP file in that folder. And it builds, builds all those into objects, and it turns those objects into a final target, which sits on the root directory. Still confused? Just, just go to this and look at the README. Okay, there you go. If you want to grab this, you can go to raw, and in Linux type wget, and then this, and it'll download it to your current directory. Okay, Let, allow me to demonstrate wget this. Whoa, what, is, what just happened? wget this whole thing. How do you paste in this? I don't know. Okay, control shift insert. There we go. Ready for what happens next? It did it. Now we can just ls and see it's not there. What's he missing? What did he do wrong? Oh god, I'm gonna have to cut this part of the video. No, there we go. So I needed did I need the dash n? Dash n means download if it's new. I might have had some some bad data in there from all the random hotkeys I pressed. Okay, so yeah, w get dash n that boom you got it now we can uh ls see it and it's the same one so yeah you can edit this if you want you can you can change stuff if you want for your project there you go make files part two and in the next video how to use your make file with an ide where you can just press like play and build and it does all the stuff in your make file for you. I'm going to specifically look at Qt Creator because it's the one I've been using recently. And you can do it. You can just take a make file like this and have it be your project build and run and all that stuff just with their little, little natural buttons. Alright, see ya. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and...